and uh, that is a question we continuously ask because Kosovo has attractive investor, let's say, framework. You have a very low tax rate. I want to be direct. Since you last spoke to me about the fact that there is a better perspective for German investment in Kosovo, have there been new German, significant new German investment mm -hmm. here? I mean, first I based my judgment. <coughs> I mean, people, politicians in every country can announce a lot. Uh, but we had some rankings where Kosovo really moved up in the last years. It could have moved up further. You know, there's always room for improvement. And uh, to be honest, I would have liked to see more investment uh, at the moment because investors uh, watch TV in Germany and they see things happening. They see a uh, crisis, you know, like last year we had uh, two or three flash flashpoints, the barricades, the May uh, um, attack against NATO sold, K4 soldiers and then the Banska, you know, when it's in the news and uh, that doesn't help for sure. I don't blame uh, the, the government for it, but if people watch uh, TV and see this barricades, I don't need that. There are 200 countries in the world where I can invest, you know, if I look for a foreign place. There has been improvement. I think so far too much, I mean, Germany is, I just saw yesterday, uh, we are the biggest investor in Kosovo, but too much of the investment is construction. You know, it's not a transformative investment. when you say investment. you are the biggest investor in Kosovo, in F terms? FDI, you know, foreign direct investment. Uh, meaning uh, people, diaspora, let's be clear yeah, about most the diaspora of it is that diaspora. comes, individuals who invest, Germ uh, German citizens, but possibly Kosovo citizens too, who invest in... Um, in, in a real estate. Yeah, By often it's real estate, but real we estate. also we have small investments. But I mean, I th I assume what you were asking for, you know, is a angel investor coming, Volkswagen. I'm asking for factory investors, yeah. the production investment. Yeah, we have small uh, ones, but it's not. Uh, um, Can we compare with Serbia? Because that's kind of significant. Uh, yeah. Do your German investment uh, just tell us about the mentality of German investors? Are they going? to Serbia far more than in Kosovo. I don't know whether it's specific. I Serbia. wouldn't okay. limit it to, you know, German investors. Investors go there where they have uh, certainty, where they have, you know, a market and where they have uh, government support. And I can only say when it comes to Serbia, uh, there has been, you know, I spoke to another investor, uh, I mean, to one of my colleagues, he said, you know, there's an 80 million investment from Nestle in Serbia and it works. Or mm -hmm. last year, the German continental company worked, uh, opened a factory there. All the promises were met. Look, I can confirm even from our sources that because of Banska attack, there's been cancellations in hotels, for example, or, or people yeah. visited less. Um, so that is certainly the same feedback we get. And that's why I want to go further with you. Uh, just talk about the fact, how do, do we, <laughs> what do we do in a situation when Serbia seems like a calm country, but it sends Serb terrorists from Serbia, armed by Serbian guns to Kosovo, creates this ability, scares the investors, yet Serbia seems like a peaceful country, Kosovo seems like a flashpoint. Yeah, and that's why uh, Germany, together with its European and American partners, is so active on normalizing the relations. Mm. I mean, first it was a German-French plan, then it evolved into a European plan, you know, a comprehensive but, but plan. No, uh, let, let me... Master, you do, you do, I, I stand in the fact that you are committed to dialogue, but the fact that in this situation the investors see that you also punish Kosovo and sanction Kosovo and not Serbia is more of an indication in the broad terms you are agreeing with no, Serbia. No, we are not. Look, investors, in, in, investors don't look always uh, at government communiques or so. You know, they look, uh, they see, uh, as I said, the media plays a role and then they make decisions. And of course, uh, if you don't have a big local market, you know, there's a difference between a country who has maybe 1.4 million or 7 million Th that people. That is a 
Fact. That's an argument, but also you cannot underestimate that any normal investor would ask, and one of the first points it will get about Kosovo is that it's under sanctions. They need to export, they need, to, uh, no, they will know, <clears throat> they will know that EU, for example, EU has stopped development projects in Kosovo, IPA funds have been stopped, they don't invest, EU has decided not to invest their own money, why would an investor want yeah. to invest their no, own I money? Would turn the question around. Okay. Why is the government of uh, Kosovo not doing enough as requested by the EU to lift the sanctions? You know, and uh, that is a question we continuously ask because Kosovo has attractive investor, let's say, framework. You have a very low tax rate, you know, and you have the euro as as currency, but it needs more uh, to, to uh, increase confidence of investors. 